Hey, glad you stopped by. Now, real quick before we get started, for those of you that don't have one yet, this video references a website from my-real-estate-website.com. Uh, you can get one by going to this web address and clicking the little sign up button. And then any links or other downloadable content that I mentioned during this video can be found on its blog post. So if you're watching it on YouTube or some other video website like that, go ahead and click that link in the description and that'll take you to the right place. And this video was recorded uh, for YouTube high def. So if the text looks all jagged and goofy or anything like that, you can click the HD icon in the bottom right corner that should improve the quality for you quite a bit. That's me, I'm Jason Massingale. There are a few of the ways you can get a hold of me. Uh, I like communicating with text message, so if you're into that kind of thing too, then definitely feel free to shoot me a text anytime. But more importantly, if you have any questions about this video or how to do something on your website, the best thing you can do is leave me a comment. Um, enough for all that intro stuff though, let's go ahead and get into this thing now. Now let's talk about uploading photos to your real estate website. There's four situations where you're probably going to use this most often. One of them is adding a thumbnail image to a post. Another one is adding an article image, and that article image is where you just enter a, a URL or an address to an image, and that gives you a standard width and position of the photo, so it always kind of keeps it in a uniform position and size there. Then adding property photos and adding images to the post or the page content itself where it shows up in line with the content instead of being up on the top left corner. So what we're going to cover in this video is uploading the images, finding the image URL or finding its address on the internet, and how you would use the images in each situation, or how you would actually get them to display on your website. So let's jump over to the dashboard. When we're dealing with media, there's a couple of different ways or a few different ways we can add it. One is by clicking the Add New Media button here. And that takes us to this screen where we can select files from our computer. Now you can use that one, but I don't prefer it. I don't think it's best. The other alternative is when you're actually adding a post itself, you can upload or insert media from this little icon right here. Now something to keep in mind, when you're adding a thumbnail image to a post, you can either add it through the Add New Media or through the Insert Media on the post page. When you're doing an article image, which is this type of image right here, you can upload the photo through the Add New Media link or on the page or post itself. When you're doing property photos, they have to be uploaded through the post. There's no way of getting around that. They won't display if you don't upload them through the post. And then on images being inserted to the page or the post content, you can do it either through the media library or through the post itself. Now let's go ahead and hop over to a post and add some media. First we'll just give it a name and we'll add some content and then let's start uploading photos. You're going to click add an image. Then notice that this is very similar to the add new media page we just looked at because it just kind of frames it in right here on this page. So we're going to select file this is where our photos are that we're working with. I'm going to arrange them by type. Property photos are actually in here in this exported <laughs> folder. It's supposed to be exported. But let's go ahead and upload the aerial, fine dining, and map. Those are done. Now let's save all changes and close out of this because I want you to be able to see how to find those in the future. Now let's go over to your library and there are the three photos we just uploaded. I'm going to find the address for each one of these. I'm going to view the photos so I want to open them in a new tab here. Then when I go to each one of these pages I actually click the photo itself and it'll just bring it up on a page all by itself. It's actually got the address in the address bar right there. So I can click that copy by hitting control C or by going to copy here. When I go to the next one I click the image and click that image. Now I've got the address for each one of those and that address is what I'm going to paste right there. So when I save it 
I'm going to have that fine dining image as the thumbnail for my post. Then if I also want to insert an article image, I'll just go up here and get the address of a different one. Come right down here and paste that. Then before we get into properties, I'll go ahead and show you how to add an image and make it show up in line with the content. So let's put my cursor here, hit enter, and I'm going to go to add an image, which I'm not really going to add one, but I'll just click that. Then we'll go over to the media library. I just uploaded these three, so they're the most recent ones. They show up at the top of the list. Let's say I want to include the map, so I will click show. Right down here, I will insert into post. I could align it left, center, right. Let's align it center, and let's make it full size. Now it shows up in line with my content. So when I publish this, and I click view post, we can see two of the images right now. This is the URL I posted in to be the article image. This is the image I inserted in line with the content of the post itself. And to see the thumbnail, we'll have to look at it on a category page. That's the thumbnail that I used right there. Now if we wanted this to be a property page, we would come over here and select Wide Property Post on the Property tag. We'd put Property Photo with a capital P right there. Come back over here and we'll add an image again. Select Files. My exported photos is the one I want. I'm going to just select all of them. You can individually select them just by holding down Control and just clicking the ones you want. But I know I want all of them, so I'm just going to click Open. Then on each one of these, we need to go through and check the property photo box. I just did it on these, so they're all good. But the one thing we would also need to do is check primary by this one because that, we want that to be our primary photo. Then just save changes. And close this and update our post. Then once it updates, we'll go to the post and there all our photos showed up in it. There's no address right here because we didn't enter all the property details. There's nothing down here for the same reason. But I just wanted to show you how to upload those images and what tags to apply to make them show up on a property post. That covers it for this one. All right, I hope this video was useful. Uh, here, there's my info one more time if you want to get in touch with me. All right, what I want you to do now is just let me know what you think about it. You know, if it sucked, let me know that. If it's good, let me know. And if you liked it enough that you want to be notified when we add new stuff, then go ahead and click that pretty little gold subscribe button up there to the right. Then you'll get an email anytime we add new stuff. Take care. Talk soon.